Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitali, and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I wanted to share with you a masterpiece of a salad. It's so wonderful, especially if you're feeding a big crowd. It is my winter cob salad with a homemade poppy seed dressing. So good, so easy, you're gonna love it. The ingredients you'll need are kind of a base, few basic ones. I've got a mixture of crunchy romaine and some baby spinach that I washed and dried. It's important that you wash and dry both kinds. And then I've got some chopped up pears and apples that I've peeled. I also squeezed a little lemon juice to help them from turning brown. And then I've got some hard boiled eggs, I've got some bacon that I've chopped, some toasted walnut halves, some dried cranberries, and over here I've got some granulated onion and sugar poppy seeds, cider vinegar, mayo, and just a little bit of milk. That's it for the greens. For a cob salad, I do like a bit of romaine because I love that crunch, but you could use all spinach, baby kale, arugula, whatever your heart desires. I love the combination of the two, so that's what I'm sticking with. I've got my skillet nice and hot, and to that, I am going to add, grab my one spoon, I'm gonna add my bacon. I'm not adding any fat because the bacon's gonna render out its own. And what I want is for the bacon to get really nice and crispy. Now while that's happening, I'm gonna move on to the dressing. Now for a cob salad, like a traditional cob salad, you know, a regular summertime cob salad, it's got avocados, it's got tomatoes, it's got a lot of those beautiful, juicy um, summer veggies. But for a winter version, I'm gonna do apples and pears and cranberries, and this dressing just goes along so well, it'll blow your mind. Let's get to it. In my big measuring cup, I'm going to add my mayo. This is just regular mayo, not low fat, not fat free, just plain old mayo. Some cider vinegar, a couple tablespoons of that. I've got my sugar and granulated onion. Now, some people make their poppy seed dressing extremely sweet. I don't like it too, too sweet, so that's perfect for me and my poppy seeds. Now I'm gonna give this a whisk, and then I'm gonna see where I am. You know, do I need a little bit of milk? Is it too thick? Is it too thin? This for me actually looks quite perfect. I'm gonna add just about a teaspoon of it, of the milk, just to make it a little more runny. But for the most part, this looks perfect to me. So now that this is done, I'm gonna set it aside, wait for my bacon to cook because I do love bacon in my cob salad. I don't care what time of year it is, I don't care what version of a cob salad, I like me some crispy bacon. I'm gonna cook that to nice and crispy, I'm gonna get that out of the pan, and then we'll get going on assembling our salad. And that's it! My bacon cooked until it was nice and crispy, and then just put that in a little bowl over a paper towel just to soak up all that extra grease. And now you can you can kind of like plate this however your heart desires, but for me, when I make any kind of cob salad, I love putting my toppings like in little sections. I think it looks really chic that way, but you can do whatever your heart desires. It's all up to you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my apples and my pears that again, I peeled and chopped into about bite-sized pieces. I'm gonna put that into a little section and I did, um, I did put some lemon juice over these because I didn't want them to turn brown because I was, you know, they were sitting here for a bit. And I chopped up one extra apple because I'm gonna munch on that in just a few minutes. And then I've got my cooked bacon, which for me, the more the better. That's just my personal preference. And again, no matter what cob salad I'm making, I need bacon and lots of it. And then I've got my toasted walnut halves, and you can tell, you can see that they're toasted. They've got beautiful color, and they are really, really, really gorgeous, and they smell like nuts, and that's why it's so important for you to toast them in a dry skillet. It really kind of brings out their flavor. And then I've got some dried cranberries. These are not only for color, but really they add just a lovely chewy texture, and I just think that this Really for a winter cob salad, it couldn't be more perfect. And then I've got my hard boiled eggs. Now I've mentioned this, anytime I share my hard boiled eggs with you, I tell you how I make them. I put my eggs into a saucepan, cover them with water, bring the water to a boil, let them boil for one minute, turn the heat off, lid on the pan, let them sit for 10 minutes exactly, and then run them under cold water to completely stop them from cooking. And that's how you make perfect hard boiled eggs with no green, dark centers. You can see they're gorgeous yolk with no funkiness anywhere near it because that to me defeats the purpose of a beautiful hard boiled egg, which again, I've chopped into bite-sized pieces. And that is your beautiful 
beautiful winter cob salad. And at this point, you can drizzle your dressing all over the top, or you can do what I do, is serve the dressing on the side. And the reason I do that is because that way people can put as much or as little as they want, and they don't mess up the beauty, the beautifulness that is your cob salad. So now, of course, because I'm me, and we've known each other for a while, I need to dig in. And it just so happened that there's a plate behind me. And it's saying, you know what? I'm here. This is looking good. Give me a try. So I'm going to. And I'm really excited. And I'm especially excited to just show you just that gorgeous, the consistency of that gorgeous dressing. I'm going to take some. I'm not going to take too much because I don't want to be piggish. I've got some bacon. I've got my lots of toasted almonds. Almonds. Walnuts. And don't mind if you make a mess, because I mean, who cares? And now, the, the pièce de résistance, I do not know how to speak French, so forgive me. But this gorgeousness right here, just, that melts me right there. The consistency of this is just perfection. Love that. You could also, um, Put some pomegranate seeds on top. That would be delightful. Whatever your heart desires. I need some bacon, cranberry, everything. We just need a few minutes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Not. Perfection. I love this so much. I can't even describe it. The dressing is not too sweet, but it's definitely a little bit sweet because the poppy seed dressings usually are. Everything on that salad to me is everything I could possibly want in a winter clown salad. This would be a wonderful, wonderful addition to your holiday table or dinner in its entirety because it's that filling and satisfying and just delightful. LauraInTheKitchen.com will have the recipe completely written for you and ready for you so you can make it. I hope you enjoy spending time with me and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.